Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. I just wanted to share a little bit about what's going on since we launched the joy unequal to being nothing. <laughs> And we've had a lot of fun and just talked to a lot of people. Jennifer, how many books are, how many have sold? Uh, in its first, is it even its first full? Yeah, in its first full week, we have sold over 600 copies. Oh, that's phenomenal. For us, that's phenomenal. That's remarkable given the fact that I still haven't gotten around to, to putting up an article to advertise it on shulamite.com. I mean, you know, we, other than the podcast, it, the podcast and the app, right, John? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it really hasn't, we haven't been hitting it anywhere near like we have previously. I've had letters from two people that both said they cried through the whole thing. One, one person said, I started at the story of Nathaniel and, pr and cried all the way through. And so it's been very impacting. And Jennifer, have you heard much from it? Absolutely. The response that I've gotten has been tears, but what I love is the joy that's with it. There really? is, in fact, oh. an enormous, it's a tearful joy from mm -hmm. what I'm hearing from them. And some of them mm -hmm. get, you know, choked up even talking about it. But I think they are experiencing the anointing of joy oh, that was infused wonderful. in this booklet. Well, I met one person I had, had uh, really wanted to hear from her, how she felt about it. So she was coming toward me, and she threw up both arms and said, I'm free. I'm set free all my life. I've been thought I had to be something, and now I'm free. So I'm so excited that, that people are getting it. But I felt the necessity to another booklet and then another <laughs> so uh, I'm not even deep into it yet but I'm deep into prayer about it it's, I feel like okay we are nothing but to be come nothing is no small matter and so I'm I've been praying Lord how am I going to really reveal this clearly the process of of you taking us to nothing so that we're free of ourselves. <laughs> and he get, and, and I'm not going to give it away, of course, but <laughs> it's, it's the Word, his stories in the Word that he's given me to illustrate the process and the, then the reward and the joy and the, the uh, outcome. So I'm, I'm excited and just ask for prayer, y'all. I know we had lots of prayer over this little booklet. And, uh, so, and so, but I'll give you a hint, because <laughs> I'm going to have to say, we weren't born nothing. We were nothing when we were born, but we didn't know that we were nothing when we were born. And so the world centers around self for a long time. And uh, how God deals with that is uh, a matter of humiliation. <laughs> Because we're born, even though we are nothing, we're born with an ego as big as the house. And uh, uh, that ego is this, another word for pride. And pride is the word for self-worship, independence, and uh, entitlement. Those are some of the words of the ego. <laughs> so, but it's... Uh, it's going to be exciting, I know. I got, I found this verse. I'm, I'm just amazed how many verses there were on I Am Nothing. Were you all amazed mm -hmm. at that? I don't remember putting this in the booklet, but it will have to be in some, somewhere. It's uh, Galatians 6, 3, and I'm reading it from the upgraded Amplified. For if anybody thinks he is something special, when in fact he's nothing special, except in his own eyes, he <laughs> deceives himself. So there is the, the total diagnosis and illustration of becoming nothing. Then there's another one I'm brooding on and praying about. There's a difference between being empty and being nothing. 
and emptiness is real. It's terrible, but it's real. Being nothing is not nearly as terrible. So I want to talk about being empty and being nothing, what, what that is like. So you think that's needed, Jennifer? Yes, because all of a sudden it, it strikes me that that's kind of comparable to um, a revelation I had a long time ago, the difference between solitude and loneliness. Right. There was a huge oh, difference between those two things. But they're used parallel. synonymously, but they're not Yeah. They're not synonymous. Oh, brilliant. So I can't wait to hear I can't wait for him to birth that revelation yeah. about emptiness versus nothing. Well you have to That's feed amazing. me some of your insights. We've also had some emails, haven't we, John, from people who say that, that we are experiencing the suddenlies. Yeah, I had uh, several emails uh, of people that have basically written and and people have have commented. I wish more people had commented and and not just sent emails because I wanted it to that everybody could see what they were saying. But they were saying that um, literally in their lives, like I questioned in the last podcast, are you seeing the, these suddenlies happen? Are you witnessing the the overtaking of the blessing that that you've uh, gone through a season of of sowing, of resting, of surrender, of the cross, of death, and now you literally are are feeling like almost the tidal wave of blessing coming at you. And um, so what what I've what I've heard from all these people is yes, um, this is not just something that's happening just to us. This is a corporate thing. Um, people are seeing this. Um, Seth was one that wrote me, and and uh, there, there's just been there's been a number of emails that I've received that they just said, "Hey, I am right right there. I am right there with this being overtaken by the reality of God's um, blessing. Really, just to 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 take us out and <laughs> over." I have. Uh someone who's been dear to this ministry for years and her daughter has had a really rough rough life i won't reveal who it is but she wrote me the overtaking of blessings were just phenomenal on this young mother single mother and things like she needed wood for winter and she needed it split and some neighbor said, what are you going to do with that wood? She said, well, I'm going to borrow a splitter. And here's a woman going to do this. So he, he took it and split the whole thing. And those kind of things, when you're, when you are a single woman, a widow or a single mom, those things are so overwhelming. It has to be done, and you think you have to do it. But God is so, so faithful. I've, I've had many stories like that. And there were... A number of other situations in which the overwhelming help of God just showed up and uh, people neighbors asking do you need this and it's just so exciting you mentioned something about comments John I'm, I just want to ask everybody that can do it to comment on our uh, podcast. We so look down to see who's who's listening and who's who's there, and it just means the world to us more than you would ever imagine. It's encouraging. It's enlightening. It's it's. I have to answer some people and say I didn't get that in my message. And I need it now, and you're helping me define it. So, and that's what you want too, John. You want participation and not just. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love I'd love to, to to read the comments and and even if we don't respond right away, um, I, I try to always respond. Um, sometimes I'm unable, but um, I love the comments because it it becomes interactive. It becomes you know, and 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 I know that people. Some people they think, oh, I don't want it to go out there in front of everybody. I would love even if you were going to do a big long email to send. I would love just a little, uh, you know, a little brief cliff note version on the on the blog because um, th the revelations and the uh, insights are are blessing not only to us but they're to everybody. It's like it's, it's the, community. It is that we want them to have a forum for their revelations. Absolutely, 
Absolutely. And, uh, it's just it can it can be rich. So we've never asked we've never mentioned this before, have we? But it's always on our heart. We want to hear from you. And that's church. You know, that's that's church life for us. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at Shulamite.com, where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from getalongwithgod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At Shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.